So uh, we left off at a uh, where, where the Buddhist position had set forth uh, consequences in saying that um, that a what was that? Oh, huh? No? Okay. Um, so anyway, the Buddhist position here um, had set forth a consequence that with a dead body that had uh, died, you know, death occurs for some, you know, because there's some, uh, what do you say, uh, contra contradictory uh, circumstances that, that are contradictory to this, to life, you know, disease and so forth, and poisoning and so forth. They're getting bit by a snake, and so, so then, uh, if you you could uh, eliminate those uh, circumstances, what do you say, causes, or they're they're like uh, contradictory causes, is is um, a literal translation, and and then then the body should be able to. Uh, Cause a, a mind again, so so then uh, we don't see that happening. Uh, so then you know the the body is not the substantial. What what is, is not a cause of the is not the base for the mind or the causal base for the for the mind. So then um, here the. The opponent then comes back and and says uh, at the bottom of 249 here um, that the uh, just as the absence of fire does not entail the absence of the transformation of wood uh, here the translator gives the example of ash that is generated by it so. The absence of the cause transformed by sickness, or the, the defects that are the contra contradictory conditions, does not entail the absence of the 
great transformation of sickness, that is death. So, um, uh, that death, sorry, that death. Uh, what, what he's saying is that uh, this, this kind of transformation is a, that happens at death is an a, uh, irreversible transformation. It's just like uh, it's just like what what um, <coughs> what, what <coughs> being burned in a fire does to mm -hmm. wood. You don't have to go to the ash. Just even the blackening of the wood is is an irreversible situation. So so uh, that's the way. Uh, that's what happens to the body at death. Hmm, that is a yeah. Hmm. 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 Yes, <laughs> Mm. So that now the uh, Buddhists have to come back with a, a rejoinder. Uh, the Buddhist position is that um, it follows that it is not unsuitable that the transformation of sickness uh, be absent because there is a point to applying cures to sickness. S what it's saying is that it's not like uh, the uh, blackening of, a, of wood by fire because um, with, with an illness, there's, illnesses are reversible and, and so it's something that um, so Whatever illness the 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 the, uh, the cause the death, uh, then that that illness can be reversed. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So, Jurassic by the young Jackson, Doya, you've been Jurassic now. Jurassic and Dog, you may be Jurassic New York, is it? Larmy John Gassini, Lala, and Jurassic by the Chester. Larmy John of Guruanese, hm, Tinny Lala, and Jurassic by the Chester. Larmy John and Jurna, Lala, and Jurassic. Gassin Dog by Inchy, we sing the Salem Mission Nos. Otherwise, <laughs> Said the thousand the point that's being made here then is that, that you can uh, there there are two kinds of transformation one is reversible and one is irreversible in the in the case of 
of uh, wood being being uh, burnt, uh, wood being burnt and, or blackened, then you can't change that uh, situation. But uh, in the case, uh, you can make another example, uh, gold. Gold you can melt in a fire, and then, then once you remove the fire, the, the gold returns to its solid st state. So uh, that is reversible. So, so it, it follows that the transformation of wood, ash, uh, brought, uh, you could say it means ash, uh, here the translator is using that as an as a additional comment, uh, wrought by fire and the transformation of sickness, death, are not equivalent examples. Because when, as in the example of the transformation of wood wrought by fire, it is unreasonable to assert that some transforming agent generate irreversible transformations when it is impossible to reverse even a small transformation. It just even when it gets blackened, for instance, you can't, the slightest, uh, you can't reverse the slightest in, in terms of wood being burned by fire, but because when, as an example of the transformation of gold by fire, it is reversible to assert that some transformation agents generate a reversible transformation then it is reasonable to assert that even a great transformation is reversible. Mm. 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 Hmm. So then, uh, he, further states here, if wood is an equivalent example, then it is impossible that the slightest transf transformation wrought by a disease be reversible. Um, so it follows that the former transformation, even if small, cannot be reversed because if wood has even been blackened, it cannot turn back into wood. It is reasonable to assert that some transformation suitable to be, uh, suitable to be reversed, even if great, will be reversed because solid gold, even if it has been liquefied, can be turned back into a solid. This one. Dog <laughs> 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 Uh, now the opponent is coming back and saying, well then it follows that the great transformation of sickness, death necessarily is reversible uh, because even a small transformation is reversible. If you assert that, just restating that position, that if you assert that, it contradicts the explanation to the effect that there are incurable disease, uh, uh, sicknesses. It, the, the, uh, the opponent is, is saying, it, it, it's saying well, well, what about um, incurable illnesses? Uh, I mean, what do you do? There is such a thing, right? And so then, uh, plus, that 
So then uh, here, uh, the, in the uh, commentaries, uh, explaining that at this part in the in the verse, then there's a uh, the, the there's a uh, refutation of of, of what the uh, opponent is just setting forth and saying says that. Basically, saying that um, there isn't such a thing as an incurable uh, disease. Uh, the, it, it's not that the disease is incurable; it's because of this, uh, of other circumstances. So, and, and then states those circumstances of, of being the that the doctor's not skilled, or there there isn't the me- medicine hasn't uh, been. Um, you know, acquired that or there, there isn't, you know, that that we or, or discovered or, or and and because um, it is explained that uh, it, it, even you have all the medicine and, and everything uh, that you know, a skilled doctor, if uh, if the person who's uh, sick is. Um, has has uh, exhausted their their karma for that lifetime, then nothing you can do will, will be uh, helpful to that to help them recover. So it's just uh, so it's not really the disease is incurable. That's just people talk about the incurability of disease. So a, a, a sickness here we read the commentary. A sickness said not curable in the slightest is not explained to be thus by reason of its incurability, but because the medicinal preparations and doctor are difficult to acquire or because it is explained to be thus by force of the karmic exhaustion of the lifespan of the sick person. Da Mm. So if the cause, uh, the, if we read at the bottom of 250, if we just continue, if the cause of death is a sickness consisting of defects, of wind, bile, and phlegm alone, without having as a cause the non-presence of such appropriate conditions for cure, 
then it follows that there is no incurable sickness. That if, it, if it's just because of something that is defective, so there is no incurable sickness. Because if the appropriate conditions for the cure are present without other contradictory conditions, then the sickness definitely can be cured. If, if there's no, um, what do you say, I guess it's really talking about it, if, if, the, if, if everything's ready for the cure, then there's, uh, and they're all present, then, then there's no disease that can't be cured. Hmm. This one? How it follows, can it be, can, can it not, this is top of page 251, sorry, how it follows, can it not be accepted that a body killed by poison will not be revived? It must be accepted, because the substantial cause, the body, remains, and the contradictory condition, the deadly poison, which are, which are the cause of the transformation of sickness at death, can be removed by mantras, etc., or because the cause of the transformation of sickness um, that means death, can be extracted through cutting the poison wound of that person who has been bitten by a, a poisonous snake. Just it's talking about like the area where, where a person has been bitten, mm -hmm. you can extract the poison from that area. And then the, the uh, body should be able to uh, give, what do you say, cause the mind, but <coughs> it's not, it, it is not seen that that happened. Uh, so. Yeah. That nearly the Nyanjak on that Shigora. Hm. Nearly in a Kadish called the essay. Hm. When I lead in Yelinche, you lead it in Jebu in any Kadish called the Stishigora. Hm. That nearly it on that Shigora, the solo car, uh, to do the city again. I let this lamna. Soluka to you received the Nelengi to Shagoris, Nelis at the Kandisko, the Tito Nashagoris. So when we get to this next uh, verse, then it's, uh, it's going to explain what a substantial cause is, the, trans uh, what is the definition of a, a uh, substantial cause. Good one. Mm. No, Mm-hmm. 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 So, uh, if we just read the, the verse, the, the commentary is just filling in an explanation for the verse. So, if we just read the verse, a substantial cause is such that without a transformation of it, there cannot 
be a transformation of the substance possessor. As for example, without a transformation of the clay, there can be no transformation of the pot, etc. So what it's saying is that uh, a substantial cause is, is such that, that uh, for instance, like a, a seed giving rise to a sprout or a seed of a tree giving rise to a tree. Or, here the example is of clay. Clay here um, has to go through a, a process of transformation such that uh, the substance that of the cause, the clay, then um, becomes, uh, what do you say, a presence and, it, you know, it's, it's sort of like the, then the pot is the substance uh, possessor is the way it's expressed. Um, the, the pot it, it is made from clay. So then, uh, but, but if, uh, if you don't transform the clay, then there's no pot. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. the commentary that explains the verse, it says, a lamp is the substantial cause of lamplight, uh, the light coming from the lamp. Um, because without the essential transformation of the lamp, uh, there cannot be an essential transformation of the substance possessor, so uh, the lamp light. Uh, and because the lamp directly establishes an uncommon imprint of just its essence upon the light. So uh, this word lamp here is talking about, think of it as an oil lamp that has to be lit. And so then, and then that is, um, transforms it into being able to uh, create light. It, so it's a uh, um, so, f for ex so, for example, without a transformation of clay, there cannot be a transformation of a pot. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. So now, now it's going to say that that, that the uh, relationship to um, from with body and mind are, are not that way. So it's just explaining why um, the transformation of the body doesn't give rise to the mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Sim down Lugian Tishin Lutter. Sim down Luni Botia, Lugin Gurachevan Lutanene, Sim Gurachene, something more to wear than today or my residua. Oh, did love send you there? Because of the Dabade? I'm doing the Tower del Malo and then Debat and the Dusan Yoda. Oh, the Dishan and Dure. That's a Tatunda. 
So, so then, uh, so that then, when you say uh, that body and mind also accordingly are not thus related, means that they, they don't have that that complete relationship of a substantial cause to its effect. Uh, uh, body and mind also accordingly are not thus related. Just read the, the verse. Without a transformation of some entity, it is... Without a transformation of some entity, it is unreasonable that that exists in relationship, in relation to the transformation of some other entity as the substantial cause. As a cow is not the substantial cause of a wild ox, etc. Differing results subsist simultaneously. They arise from each taking the cause of the other as cooperative, as in the case of fire and the liquidity of, of uh, copper. Okay, so here we're just, we're just uh, going to talk about the first part, uh, about the, uh, up to the idea of a cow is not the substantial cause of a wild ox. It, so in the, in the commentary it says, it follows that body and mind also are not related as substantial cause and substantial result, because a change in a cow does not follow accordingly from a change in a wild ox, or vice versa. So, so you can't trans somehow transform a cow into a wild ox or a wild ox into a cow. Uh, this reason pervades because without a transformation of some entity that is the cause, it is unreasonable to classify that cause as the transformation of some entity that is the result, as the as the substantial cause, so it can't be the substantial cause, just as a cow is not the substantial mm -hmm. cause of a wild ox. Mm. Yes, mm. Oh, yeah. That did it, I want to. Mm. Oh, ルーダーシャンミレンジとネグドアティカレスゴラ。うん。おでたりマシレンジとドソンタティシゴダ。おねレンジ、レンジトクバ、レンジドネバゲロセ。ルーディセムギルチキミレンチキメナ。おねルー
this has sort of been addressed previously, but this is now addressed in a slightly different way. It is suitable that body and mind, which are results, um, subsist simultaneously because each of those two arises from taking the substantial cause of the other as its cooperative condition, as in the case of fire and the liquidity of copper, uh, or like we had before, the gold, where, where, where the fire melts the gold, and so then you have liquid gold, and, and uh, so in that case, then the, the fire is acting as a kind of cooperative condition to, to uh, keep the gold in a, in a liquid form. Mm. Uh. <coughs> so the, the, their relationship is not that of, of, <coughs> of uh, substantial cause and, and, subst and substantial effect, but uh, as a cooperative cause and, and uh, you know, effect. This one? No. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Lutasamnyamdoyora, Ludi Kyuji Tunyam Betem, my indes, my insert is Yora. Yilu de Casa Yilu desa, Yilu Chose, Ludi Kyuji Tunyam Betem, my indes, Yora. My insert, Ludi Yilu Tunyam Betem, my res. You may tell a temiches, Yilu de Zesu Yobata, Meba Tala, Talaya, Tunyam Betem, Zesha, Tame Beches. You may tell a temiches. Yilu de Sesu Yobata, did Ludi Kyu Tunya with him, my dear Kyu Sesu Yobata. You look at Sesu Yena and Sesu Mena and Dasura, and they call you Tunya Betan de Kuma Resuara. This one. Dunyam be then Yomare, Yomare. Tunya Betan Tembazi Yomare. Oh, 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 Okay. Uh, existence of the body and mind, where the where you have uh, that the the body is is a is is the simultaneous basis of the mind. So then, um, this verse uh, on page two fifty four, which is listed as being sixty three, uh, um, then. The body is not mind's simultaneous basis, because whether substances are existent or non-existent, there is no uh, basis substantially different from them. So, my, the, uh, the, the commentary states, mind does not have the body as its subs simultaneous basis. Because whether substances are existent or non-existent, there is no point in their having a simultaneous basis that is substantially different from them. So then, um, they, it's just saying that they coexist and they and they're not 
existing um, uh, they they don't have this relationship where where the one is giving uh, giving rise to the other. Uh, they simply uh, co they simply coexist, mm. and so then so then there's no point in in uh, having a, a a simultaneous basis. Uh, Especially given that the time that the basis is substantially different from it. Uh, yeah, this one. Mm. Mm. That is the language of the course. Tunya Betan is Jerva, Tunya Betan Yungumaris Larva, and the Taku Yungres Sul of Tilpol and Kalyoda. Never tell Anka Basidwa. You be naked, you need tension answer. To send to you about the nature to the latin cigarette, to your betting your days or the cold soul of your. You have a name you need ten years ago. Coral troops in Bacha, you have a chair. You have a name you need to send to you, and then to your betting you did never get the ten days to your betting his order. To send to you have a nature to go ten to turn your nose and ask order. That will find the cover to the team message. So here, the, um, if we just go to the top of page 255, the, the uh, opponent is coming back with a rejoinder and saying, that is not so. The meaning of basis is the cause of the abiding of an already existent mind. Mm. So it's, it's this idea of den demba. Uh, Ten demba to work. Do you bet ten temba or much? You don't ten temba to order. No, or they do ten temba to 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 ten and one is, well, it's always, <laughs> this translation, den demba, means so the support and the supported. Is it sort of how those, that works a little bit better. It, it, in general, uh, there's a relationship of support and supported between mind and body, but, but uh, here it's talking about simultaneous uh, uh, Support and supported. Tanya Park, I do our own look. My days, it troops into you where Nancy gave you the ten to two days. Senas could tip her car, you are around the coast of Sigura. Did you know between your days, Carson? And it never matters, my days, never matter. To send to you where Nancy gave you the current two symbols, you have a share. Cut on the never she be duty on it. Semi-chance <laughs> You look over now, you look over never said to Cunyam Dosali, I give it a cigar. You look over Logas, yet never do Logas, and never you say to your mother, Sura. You look over Cora, Sim Cora, I give you, Simply never. Simply you have a tata or Tisura. Tia Yam Dosali, you could a cigar. She could never use the same. You look at you, teacher, you look to see never you say to Loga, your mother, Sura. This way. You look at Nebe. Oh, Nebe, you. 
So then um, the opponent is saying uh, the reason here is unproven that they, they, they don't, uh, they say the abider is substantially different from the abiding. Um, so then, um, then how how could the Buddhist rejoinder then is uh, what do you say? The Buddhist answer that by saying, how then could that body in any way affect the abiding of the entity mind if that if they're substantially different? It follows that it cannot be accepted that it could affect it because the body is posited um, as the cause of that abiding that is objectively separate from it. And saying that they're, they're two substantial, substantially different entities. It will follow that mind is indestructible. Hmm. Did look out a bit. Uh, uh. Mm. I think that did then it did. Ah. Uh, mm. Uh, 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 that picture. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh.
it's looking at that at the if you take two uh again i was pointing out the frame the picture frame here in the in the in the cup uh, as being substantially different so so the the opponent is talking about um the abiding of the of the mind and the and the and the abider the mind itself is being substantially different so then um here um anything in in the opponent is talking about uh affecting the abiding of the mind but anything if they're substantially different then then uh, the abiding uh, anything done to the abiding of the mind won't affect the the mind itself so so the mind is unaffected yeah mm. no yeah this one no this one what did you was done that thing which era tanji kwa me ba thor you said era te che che se era e che ji kwa me ba i lu che che se sem che che se era sem de che che se che ji kwa me ba ta jig mar ba so sem de me jig barta i lu de me jig barta se era ジグバメバタデデベンゴルトタトゲベチャゴデサジグバメバタシンジョアメバタシゴライテチチイロチチンキュンジグバメバタワンギュデキュトシントゥニバネベエシレジグバメバタワンギュルスドワデサワデ
So it, it's not permanent. Yeah. I do so. Well, yeah. I mean, that tell on top of some by yes, this is what a two sin neighbor and jig you, jig but she said to lay up. Yan neighbor said to the tongue of the king, she was some by you, good as or a tell on top of some by ye. Never you, young chishy chas. Never you said to get cooked and die your mother there. The tell on jig you, jig with lot of chess it under the tongue of the king, some by never you, young chishy chas, tell me about us. Lude, some day, some two sin neighbor. Then he said, Let him be about that. Jigida Matena to see that. Jigida Mateba, the corner to see but the negress. Jigida Tesuna, Jigu Jigba Jigre, and never said to my resuada. Tena Neju never see many vessels. What did you love? Hm. Oh, the young child did Gana did because a Naman Naman Nansha. No, you ain't some with you. Never you say to Loga Shasma. To see never ten cigarettes, Sarah. Mhm. Or did that some when Jiku de la could kiss at the young Jigus Loga Shara, Loga Shara. And then Jiku de la and never a ten let you be turned to the Tumba Jogudes. No, you're Tumba Jog, you're Chickman Jogudes. No, so then they're coming up with that same. The idea of a destructive cause, then it follows that it is unacceptable that an already existent and abiding mind be destroyed by a destructive cause acting later. Because when we analyze, we find that whether the destructive cause of that mind is substantially identical to or different from the mind, there is also the same flaw as in the previous uh, consequence. Where the this one? Mm, because it the, the destructive cause must be either um, identical to or or um, different from that which is destroyed. The mind. Mm. Mm. This one. No, this one. Yeah, get it. You get tired, though. Tenace, Jiku de Jibber cigarette, or Jiku de Malabado connect you to the never cigarette cigar. Hm, so Kajig Labdoa. Hm, hm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm. So uh, that's I do that. Mm. So so then, if we continue on the page of two fifty six, uh, what what it also follows can a cause of abiding do? Um, it is pointless because when the mind does not does not meet a destructive cause, it is already existent and abiding. When it does meet a destructive cause, a cause of abiding cannot make it abide. So, hmm. The, you do that. Hmm. No, then it cuts you to bed, don't it? Yeah, this one. You do not part of Tenace, the country love. Mm-hmm. Can be fine. 
So then the, the opponent then comes say, forward and says, if there is no cause of abiding, then before meeting the destructive cause, mind already will have been destroyed, since that cause of abiding makes mind abide until it meets its destructive cause. There is no flaw in our position. Mm. <laughs> Jigbangwe <laughs> So here the uh, Buddhists come back and sort of stating their own uh, position. It follows that there is no denial that this existent um, means the mind has it has the nature of being a destructible entity uh, because it is possible that it already be destroyed without meeting a destructive cause. That, that it, for, um, for a Buddhist then it's not necessary to state some cause, a, a separate cause of, of something uh, destroying, uh, being destroyed this word destroyed, but okay, we're, we're using this word destroyed, so of it, of it being destroyed, because, um, because that, that is, um, mm, that is the, it's the nature, it's, it's the way things are to, to have a, a, a destructible, you know, nature that they're, that they're um, in, being destroyed from one moment to the next. And uh, because, so that it doesn't have to meet a, a, just, a destructive cause because it's being, um, uh, mm, because it's being destroyed every moment. So if that is asserted, then what it follows can a cause of abiding do? It, it, <laughs> It cannot make an already existent mind abide because of that assertion, because because it's constantly. Uh, how can how can the uh, if it could abide, then it would be permanent. But it it's just uh, it, it's constantly. Uh, what do you say? Being destroyed. So then, uh, so then, uh, what can a, a cause of abiding do? Uh, Oh, 
ਗੇਗ ਦੋ ਸੇਤੇ ਲੈ ਗੇਗ ਮਾਰਸ ਪਰ ਲੈ ਜਾ ਗਿਆ ਰਾ ਹੂੰ ਸੋ ਕਹਦੇ ਪੈ ਨਾ ਛੁਸੋ ਜਿਤੇ ਸੇ ਸੇ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਸਾਚੋ ਦਾ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਦੋ ਛੁਸੋ ਕਿਤੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਸ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਮ ਗੇਗ ਦੋ ਸੇ ਦਿਨ ਆ ਛੁਲੋ ਸੇ ਗਰਵਾ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਛੁਲੋ ਸੇ ਤੋ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਛੁਟੂ ਸੇ ਬਦਨ ਨੇ ਬਤੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਰਾ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਸਾਜੇ ਜੀ ਛੰਬੂ ਸੇ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਛੁ ਸਾ ਸਾ ਨੇ ਛੁ ਕੀ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਸੀ ਦੇ ਛੁਟੀ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬਤੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਸੁਮ ਬਤੂ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਆਸੇ ਸੋ ਕੋਨਾ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਰਵਾ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਕੋ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬਸ ਇਹ ਦੋ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਤੇ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਮੁਸਮ ਦੇ ਗੇ ਗਰੇ ਸੇ ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਛੁਟੂ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਕੋਨਾ ਨਾ ਯੂ ਬੇ ਛੁਟੀ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਤੇ ਰੇ ਸੇ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਮੁਸਮ ਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਆਸ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਰਵਾ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ 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 ਜੰਦੇ ਕੋ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਗਾ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਮੁਸਮ ਤੂੰ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਛੁ ਦੋ ਆਸ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਛੁਟੀ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਬਰਾ ਕੋ ਦਿਨ ਨੇ ਇਕ ਤੋ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਛੁਟੀ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਤੋ ਆਸ ਰਾ ਮੁ ਸੁਮ ਦੇ ਗੇ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਸੇ ਰਾ ਨੰਬਰ ਛੁ ਸੇ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਨੰਬਰ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਨਾ ਛੁ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਸੇ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਹੂੰ ਦੇ ਸਾ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਨਾ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਦੋ ਜੇ ਕਦੋਂ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਦਾ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਨਾ ਛੁ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਸੇ ਨਾ ਸੇ ਕੋ ਸੋ ਲਬ ਗਿਆ ਰਾ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਨਾ ਸਾ ਜੋ ਛੁ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਤੇ ਦੋ ਮੁ ਸੁਮ ਮੁ ਸੁਮ ਜੇ ਤੂ ਬਸੀ ਦੋ ਸੇ ਦੋ ਦੇਸਾ ਲੂ ਦੇ ਆ ਸਮ ਜੇ ਬੁਤੇ ਆ ਲੂ ਦੇ ਆ ਸਮ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬੇ ਤੇ ਰੇ ਸੇ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਪਰ ਨੇ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਛੁਟੂ ਸੇ ਨੇ ਬਰ ਦਾ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਸ਼ਨਾ ਸੇ ਤੇ ਖੁਸ਼ ਲਬ ਗਿਆ ਔਰ ਤਾ ਫਾ ਕਾ ਬਚੀ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਹੂੰ ਤੇ ਛੂ ਲਬੇ ਤੇ ਛੂ ਲਬ ਦਾ ਅਲੇ ਤਾਂ ਬਾ ਨਾ ਛੂ ਲਬ ਜਾ ਆ ਕੋ ਕੋ ਲਬ ਗਿਆ ਕਿਰਾ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਮ ਦਾ ਗੇ ਦੋ ਸੇ ਕਰੇ ਸਨਾ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਛੂ ਚੀ ਗਾ ਨਾ ਨੇ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਰੰਗ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਛੂ ਦੇ ਤੂ ਸਨੇ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਕੋ ਆ ਸੇ ਹੂੰ ਤੇ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਮ ਦਾ ਗੇ ਦੋ ਸੇ ਗਾ ਰਾ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਲਬ ਦਾ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਨਾ ਅਮ disposing of the objection that our position contradicts perception so 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 um if we that's at the bottom of page uh, 256 so if you look at the uh, at 257 uh mm, the you know not looking at the verses we just go straight to uh, the verse as set in the commentary here where it says opponent uh, just as so the opponent is saying well just as for example it is proven by perception that earth is the support for the abiding of already existent water for instance a cup is, has water uh, so also the body is the support of the mind hmm. ดิสอนนะดิสอนนะอืมแม่งยิงเลยกูดาตาพาเลนจากยอระอืมเนเนจิชุดตุสินเนบะเจบะมายบะทาลสกอระตาพาเนเจติเกเนเจนตุสกอ
So uh, here, then the opponent, mm, the opponent is, is uh, saying, well then, why is it common worldly opinion that a, a vessel is the support of water? Uh, so then uh, the, uh, the Buddhist position uh, comes, uh, addresses that question that uh, a water vessel is the support of that water inside it. Because at each moment, it is the cause of the arising in the same place as the previous entity of a subsequent continuum of the naturally destructible entities of water inside it. it so it, it's everything, it, it means that it's a, it, the entity of the water is. is a, is momentary, uh, and if it is not thus, uh, uh, if it is not thus assistant, it follows that it is reasonable to assert that there exists a support that is objectively separate from what is supported. So, so um, uh, before it was just. Uh, rejected the idea that the water, uh, you know, is already existent. Okay, so here it's, it's then st stating the position that they have to be, uh, that the water has to be changing um, from one moment to the next. Although it is acceptable that an impermanent entity have a support, it is unacceptable that a permanent entity has one. Um, a water vessel is the support of the water, etc., inside it because it blocks it from spilling down. That's what, um, that's what the the uh, what do you say the <coughs> the pot or the cup or whatever <coughs> is doing. What it what it follows is the purpose of in quality, generality, or action having a. a an objectively separate support. There is no purpose because they are 
they are such as to be non-processive from previous to subsequent moments. Hmm. Hmm. That's the idea. Of then, then it would, then it would have to be uh, uh, permanent. Then, then what is the, what is the uh, purpose of having uh, a uh, support for something that's permanent? Uh, and and uh, mass. Mm. 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 This one. That mm. don't the karisik doshinera. Mm. Pento <laughs> Oh, so, uh, so then, what is it saying here, really? It's just talking about uh, this, this uh, assertion that of something already abiding it, it, it's acting as a support for something that's already abiding. And... Uh, so then, well, what is the purpose of acting as a support for something that's already abiding? Is that what the Buddhists are saying? So, and, and so then, uh, mm, the example is of water in a vessel. And say you put very hot water in, in, a, in, a, in a vessel. Uh, that... Um, that uh, water in the second moment is, in the third moment, the fourth moment, it's just getting colder and colder. But if it's, if it's already abiding, in, as, as it's been asserted uh, by the, non, by the uh, Charvaka, then, uh, then in each moment it doesn't change. It just stays as hot as it was in the beginning. But uh, so then, um, so then, basically, that's saying that the order is uh, is permanent, and uh, or is sta uh, static, if you prefer. Then, so then, um, what would be the purpose of of, of having a support uh, for that? the The purpose of the the vessel is to uh, prevent the water from spilling out. So, so then uh, mm, here, then, then there the, the, the would be uh, no purpose if if it was uh, if if there was no you know change that was going on with with the uh, water inside. So uh, <clears throat> that's the point that's being made here. Uh, 
Tak ada ko pengkar tu dos ni lah. Kecik tambu tu sembade ni mana sih ni apa cetu mara. Cetu masa. ハウコさんですね。ジョブさんメイベル。ジェットマスは。うん。だから彼氏がですね、ケジニバスンバシバコナケジケジジョルゲロ。うん。もうでケジタンボテンナナレネバナシケジニバスンバトゾコネテナネ
So here, um, I think that. Uh, that is, so, so what it basically what is being asserted is is that that uh, something that is uh, imperm mm. two impermanent things can can be related to each other as as a. Uh, uh, what do you say? As being support and supported, but but the um, it's unacceptable that a permanent entity has has a support, and and so then um, that's why it's saying here that uh, a, a water vessel is the support of the water inside it because it blocks it from spilling down, and what is what. What it follows, I think I got a little ahead of reading this section, so Genna was explaining. And now it, we're just ending with this one section. <coughs> what it follows is, this, is the purpose and quality, generality, or action having an objectively separate support. There is no purpose because they are such as to be non processive from previous to subsequent moments. That's the idea that, that, um, that the support then um, is acting, uh, is, is a continuum of, of uh, cons constantly, a constant continuum of being, uh, uh, of being a support. Um, and and uh, this idea of processive, I think, is talking about uh, just a continuum of, of similar, uh, what do you say, S similar moments, uh, let's say, of moments of a similar type. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh. Tonda Mm -hmm. Chutu 
So what what is being discussed here is this idea that well, from a from a Buddhist viewpoint everything you know um, is is uh, what do you say momentary that it's being it's perishing in each m moment and that that there's that there's no abiding from one moment to the next and what the the uh, materialist is trying to put forward here is that that there is some some s sense of abiding so they're uh, so they're putting forward this idea that water and it, you know is is sitting in a pot or in a vessel and uh, the, the vessel is what helping it, is what helping it to abide there and in it, its in its um, and it, so it's um, what is it? It's uh, it's constantly abiding, but um, and then some, you know, at some other point, there's a, a cause of it being destroyed, or um, and it, and 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 it's the and that what is what the pot is making it possible is it for it to abide continually, but then. Um, so then, the the, the Buddhist is, uh, is saying then that the uh, if it's you know um, if it's already abiding, it, okay, <laughs> then then uh, and it's abiding from one moment to the next. Then what's the purpose of having the the uh, vessel there at all? You know, because it's not gonna it's not gonna you know change so it's permanent so so then uh, what the uh, mm, so then uh, you have to um, wonder what what is the purpose of the of having the pot there and then the pot is having the pot there is is so that it it doesn't spill out the water doesn't spill out mm. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> so there's, there's, everything is changing from one moment to the next, and, and there is no cause that that uh, that can make it stay from uh, that can make it abide. You know, there is no cause of abiding. Uh, so maybe that's en, enough for tonight. Yeah, so now we're on uh, verse 70 in Gemma's book, and we're, our book, verses uh, 69. We'll be picking up there uh, on uh, 258. Oh, yeah. mm. so, so we'll do our... Uh, our dedication. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. <laughs>